Hi there. Hello, hello. That's all I have to say about that. Everyone's doing okay. This was a weird, screwed up day for folks living in this country, but uh, yeah, hope everyone everywhere is doing all right. And uh, yeah, yep. My mind is empty, mostly. <laughs> Oh, hey, welcome. Thanks for staying up. Well, or getting up early, wherever you, wherever you might be. Well, cool. Uh, yeah, welcome, everyone. It is time for a Wad Wednesday. Let's play some randomly selected Doom levels. Yeah, Doom better than Doom scrolling, often. A Wolfenstein 3D Second Encounter. Wolfen Doom scenario. Does this require the uh, created completely on a Macintosh? Well, this does have me wondering though. Um, fully compatible with PC Doom. Okay, wow. So this is old school. This probably predates the uh yeah um i don't know let's give this a shot i guess i i, I i'm not sure necessarily if this will work with uh gz doom without if it's if it's going to require um like the original wolf and doom thing as an additional file i don't have that like handy so i wouldn't be able to uh to load this up as a mod on top of that in which case I'll skip it, but yeah, let's just uh, let's give it a shot. Wolfenstein 3D Second Encounter by Laz Rojas from 19 from December 1997. Uh, created completely on a Macintosh. Um, yeah, let's give it a shot. <laughs> Yep. Okay. Yeah, and that's the uh, that's the Wolfenstein, uh, that's the Macintosh version of uh, BJ's head from Wolfenstein. I forget. Is this? Uh, no. 
Okay, so this is using the uh, the Doom 2. Um, it's using the Doom 2 map slots. Uh, okay, yeah, well, let's... Uh, Yeah, I've only played, of Wolfenstein Total Conversions for Doom, I have only played um, the kind of more modern, advanced uh, Z-Doom-based one that, like, really does just make the game feel, like, almost indistinguishable, you know, in terms of, like, you know, the lighting and just everything. Um, whereas this is, you know, much more clearly, like, a Doom 2 level that just happens to to have Wolfenstein, you know, uh, level design tropes in it. But, uh, yeah, okay, well, let's, uh, secret levels are brilliant. I kind of like this door opening sound. That's like a, that's a very appropriate sound for this door to make. It's, Definitely sounds a little better than the very low fidelity original Wolfenstein door sound. Yeah, and this isn't exactly, you know, like, this is definitely sort of an interpretation of, like, that's actually a very nice little, little level thing. Like, just decoration. Turns out you can do some pretty advanced stuff with this Doom engine. Hey, we're getting some of that. Huh. Was it missing a bunch of... Okay, yeah, no, I, so I think this is... I think, I think we are playing this more or less as, as intended. I'm, uh... Turn down the music. And I feel like I should be hearing from these guys, but I don't know. And yeah, we got stairs. That's some super advanced stuff. Yeah, so this really does just feel like a, you know, like a Doom level that just happens to have a wider cast of Wolfenstein baddies running around in it than... Doom 2's secret levels. Yeah, I just missed their little death screams, you know. It's one of the few cases where. Uh, uh, yeah, this was this was a this is a '97 level. It was released in '97 at least. Okay. Yeah, this is this is. Uh, Oh yeah, listen to that. Got a nice outdoor cricket sound. It's nighttime stuff going on. All right, I am actually, yeah, this level is completely symmetrical and I am having difficulty. Finding my way around it. Okay, I need the yellow key to open that door. Got like a little outdoor yard sort of thing here. Huh. All right. That was some guy speaking German. Okay, so this is really just like a little guard tower, huh? Our yellow key. Nope. All right, so maybe it's over at the far end. <coughs> sure, could use a machine gun or something right now. Yeah, 
uh, yeah, totally going to have these guys turkey dinners, chicken dinners. Halt and see is like a formal hold it, but it makes no sense grammatically. Okay, good to know. Yeah, I'm always down for native native German speaker critiques of uh, of absurd Wolfenstein barks. Hi there, yes, welcome. Welcome, everybody. All right, so I think I need to get back through here. And yeah, I think this is... Is this where I started? Yeah, okay. So maybe we can go in here? Okay. There's our yellow key. So I guess they've substituted simply the, uh, the blue key for the silver key and the yellow key for the gold key. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm, don't like doing that. What? All right. Was that a was that a valid level finish? I think it was. Oh, okay. And now I've been captured. But we are not in UNM1 of Wolfenstein. This happens before then, I think the README said. Yeah, I'm really wanting the uh, the treasures. Will these guys in fight? nice. strongly reminiscent of uh, Wolf E1M1, but yeah, maybe it is. Maybe it just totally is that. Yeah, yeah, it could well be. Yep, yep, this is all very familiar. Okay, well, if the rest of this is just going to be standard Wolfenstein stuff, then I will... SMG. Very accurate. These chumps only take one shot. All right, yeah, they're definitely getting a little fancier here. Sector-based tables. What? 
whoa. Does this have a spread? Is this actually just a shotgun? Yeah, it's totally a shotgun. Okay. All right, well, that explains that. Yeah, I mean, it looks like a... What is it? What's the World War II thing? A Sten? Interesting. So, like, treasure is implemented as armor? Does that mean that when I take damage, somebody... Oh, look at these jerks just shooting each other. Okay, yeah. Wow. All right, so... So getting shot bizarrely takes away from your treasures. Just trying to get to the uh, to the secret, get to the secret exit. Let's see if there's anything different about that. Treasures. All right. <laughs> All right. Um. Makes BJ sound like a like an American anime adaptation voiceover voiceover artist. Okay, so is there actually an, a secret exit here, or I don't know if there is. Oh yeah, it looks like there's some sort of. Looks like there's a couple of secrets, but... Hmm, okay. Alright, well, I'm going to see if this is just Wolf... E if the next level is just Wolf E1 M2, then I am going to... You know, that does kind of look what it looks like. And yeah, this is much more orthodox. Uh, Level design. And yeah, I'm pretty sure the 
this is. Like those three doors there, I kind of remember. It's been a while since I played Wolf, but... Okay, well, um, yeah, that wasn't bad. Um, yeah, that, that, that first level with like the two keys and the, the surprise getting captured ending. Um, maps 2 through 31 are original second encounter, while maps 1 and 32 are new levels. So maybe I just missed the, uh, the secret exit there. Map 1 is a prelude to second encounter called Holahammer. Involved in BJ's capture before being sent to Castle Wolfenstein. Okay. Um, well, yeah, that that was uh, that was worth playing. That that that, that, that first level was uh, was decent. Um, and yeah, it's kind of a notable example for being such an early example of um, of a yeah of a, of a Wolf and Doom thing. I don't know when the the very first of those uh, came out, but yeah. All right. Well, cool. Let's play another. Uh, okay, this is Chip 512 by Walter Confalonieri, uh, whose work we have definitely played on here before. This is from 2007. Try a level of doom, anime music, quote-unquote, and a real rude one. Demons just want to have fun, morbid screen, scream, wolfish shit saga, TT. Okay, yeah, these are just all... Mm -hmm. These are all uh, these are all just other things that the author has made. I'm not able to do deathmatch maps, but I still made it. The Cacodemon Factory. Um, yeah. Okay. <laughs> all right. Anime. Uh, well, cool. Yeah, let's give it a shot. Chip 512. Well, that name makes me a little curious as to uh, as to what it's going to be about. Um, huh, I guess there are multiple levels here called different things. Chip, Main Core, and Map 1. All right, well, yeah, let's check it out. Chip 512 by Walter Confalonieri. Should I just start... A normal game? No. Oh. Curious to see what new offering... Wait. Alright, so yeah, I think the... The gist was that this person wants to... Wants to try out a new Doom level. So we're, we're getting meta here. Oh no! What happened? Hmm. Oh, this is interesting. Check use. Interesting. That might be one of my uh, one of my mods uh, screwing with it. So let me go ahead and um, let me go ahead and edit out my some of my auto loads here. Let's try that, and let's try and play this again. I'm curious to see what's new offering the id games archive. Okay, sure. And yeah, it looks like we don't have any weapons or anything. Surfing in archives, a file capture your attention. The name of that file is pimpguns.zip. Oh, great. Hmm, pimpsted guns. This sounds quite cool. <laughs> Moments earlier. Erg, bleha, vomit. Pure vomit, OMG. I want to render a hellish life of this dumbass making a joke wad or sending a virus. And so you start to hacking the demon PC from his chip. <laughs> okay, all right. All right, so yeah, are we like in... Are we in a... Uh, are we in the computer of a, of a WAD author that we don't like? 
Red card. All right, we need all kinds of keys here. Yeah, Haxors. We're Haxoring. Oh, it is, is it a train, maybe? No, because the skybox is just kind of like rotating in place. subject to try to enter into main memory. Okay. Let's just continue collecting keys, you know, as one does. <laughs> this map is a pure distillation of Doom puzzle design. Yeah, that is true. Formatting CPU. Memory of PC of user Walter Confan. All right, yeah, so it's being formatted. Proceed to main core. All right, we've hacked in. Final hacking. What's going on? This is time to proceed into to main core for erase any kind of tracks of Walter works. And for this, you laugh like a madman. Main memory CPU and main core voltage unauthorized access from the user. All right, sure. Warning, exceeds of CPU temperature. Please lower machine temperature to the standard value. Main CPU is destroyed. This is what it looks like when my CPU gets destroyed. This computer is unavailable. <laughs> is that it? <laughs> okay. Finally, this little piece of crap, it's over. Congrats. Okay, is that really all, all we're doing here? Okay, all right. Well, that was certainly brief and not, you know, that's fine. All right. Yes. Okay, well, that was Chip 512 by Walter Confalonieri. Um, definitely doing some goofy scripting stuff there. I don't know. It, there wasn't... I sort of knew how that was going to end up. I just didn't know how long it was going to be. Um, <clears throat> cool. All right. Well... <clears throat> That was that. Uh, yeah, let's try another one. <clears throat> NL Doom 21 by Nelson LaViolette. Doom 2 Map 1. These wads have the following. Great attention to graphics, lighting, textures, realism, and theme. All textures are matched and stitched. No dead ends or impossible situations. Keys are not hidden and secret rooms are indicated by subtle texture changes or object placement. Okay, so this person's basically talking about their mapping standards. That's cool. A little cheat code, quick guide there. First level called No Choice. The route to follow is obvious, hence No Choice. Optional Death Room, a secret panel switch in Skin Room. My first wad and not my best, but it has promise. All right, uh, yeah, let's give it a shot. NL Doom from uh, March of 1995. I missed the uh, the map slot, but this is this is apparently it. Can I just pop these barrels. There we go. Okay. I think that thing in the corner is the way forward, but 
that. I guess that was a subtle difference in uh, texturing. Actually, I gotta see this now. What is it? Huh. That's a very subtle difference in texturing, but I guess like this texture got me. That's actually kind of an interesting idea. Like, there's something out of place, although this is repeating regularly, so never mind. Whereas if this, if these little, you know, just holes in the wall had been conspicuous, that's sort of an interesting idea is like, it's not the thing itself that is, it's not the, the, the irregularly textured wall itself, it's the one like right next to it. I don't know, that's probably not actually that good of an idea, but you could do something with it. Okay, we are once again in a room of doors. Tech room, the slime pit. general. That's a, yeah, I don't disagree with that. Oh. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Oh man, I can't jump down from here. So I know those pinkies are out there. Yeah, I've been relying to find these secrets. I've been relying a lot less on my on like the texturing and a lot more on just where they sit in the layout. Like when I know I'm at the edge of a space, I know that there could be a secret door off one edge of it. And so that's when I start trying walls. So, I don't know. Because, yeah, I don't think I would have just looked at those walls and guessed that they had a secret behind them. All right, we got some monster garages here. Looks like there's still some monsters. Monsters. All right in here. Some goodies. Huh. Yeah, see, like, if I had walked into a room and guessed that, I don't know, like, this texture gets used sometimes as a secret thing. I mean, sometimes it's the light fixtures. I don't know. I got nothing. I'm not getting enough of a of a consistent secret secret language here from uh, from the author to really be able to. All right, I think we're in the skin room alluded to in the reading. Just scabs. You know, I've always wondered, there's that bit in Masters of Doom about, um, I think it was like Kevin Cloud skinned his knee one day while they were working on Doom, and they took a photo of it and digitized it 
same as other stuff. And I've always wondered what exact texture that was. It's probably not this, because this just looks like... A, this doesn't look photo-sourced. This looks like mostly painted. Um, and yeah, like the, you know, like all of this. Whereas the thing that I've wondered... Let's see, where was it? Yeah, this thing. This looks like it could actually be like, you know, like kind of a wrinkly knee sort of thing. Like this, I'm, I've always wondered if this is like... And I mean, obviously, like, there's artifacts you would get from palletization. And then the fact that it's kind of like weirdly silver in the middle here. And then these things, I have no idea what those are. But yeah, this little panel of this particular texture has always seemed like really weird to me. Um, and this has always been my guess for Kevin Cloud's skinned knee, but I honestly have no idea. Um, and I, yeah, I don't know what else it would be, really, because all these other ones are, like, just kind of these beautifully painted Doom textures, you know? Okay, so I now have keys out the wazoo. Yeah, pegs to hold up the skin. That is as convincing a, uh, a guess as I have as I have encountered, honestly. All right, so like, okay, yeah. Now I've got the gold key. And yeah, I don't. There were those two chain gunners, but I don't think I can get up to where they were and get their get their chain gun. So. Okay, well, this is certainly a, a microchip room. Yeah, this, this texture has, I think it's from several sources, but this part, at least, this like kind of green strip is definitely from a PCB. There's that one texture that is much more straightforwardly just like a digitized chunk of a Gravis sound card that it had sitting around the office. It's not this, and it's not this, but yeah, it's it's one of those ones. Oh man, is that is that it? Okay, well let's uh, let's have a look here. I definitely missed some secrets, did I? Yes, I did. Yeah, so like this is definitely kind of disappointingly rectilinear, you know? Like it has the hub and the different key quests, but it was all just kind of just very straightforward. And yeah, just, uh, you know, there wasn't anything that really surprised me. Um, so not not that great, but, you know, not not like terrible or anything. You know, it was, it was a... I forget if this was a... Yeah, that's right. I mean, this was the author's first wad. So like, you know, pretty good showing, and I could definitely see how this would lead to uh, to more sophisticated, interesting things. Uh, but yeah. Is there a program for Doom texture painting that's used a lot? For Quake, we use Wally. -E. Um, I mean, for the original, the original Doom textures were all like the id artists uh, up to and in, and through and including Quake Two. Everything from the beginning of id to Quake Two, they used Deluxe Paint, Deluxe Paint Two for DOS PCs. Um, yeah just that's what they did and then when they and then I think they switched to Photoshop for Quake 3 when they started doing like you know actual 32-bit artwork with alpha channels and no palette and all that kind of stuff um, yeah Quasi Otter says that reminds me I made a total of 14 maps in 2020 the second most this year the most maps by one person 26 that's very impressive and cool good good job man making tons of Quake maps that's that's pretty dope. 
Yeah, Deluxe Paint started off as an Amiga program, but I used it back in the day as a DOS program. And um, yeah, it was great. Like uh, getting getting to fool around with Deluxe Paint as like a, I don't know, how old was I? Like maybe 11, 12 years old. Um, that was sweet. Like being able to paint with like 256 colors. I mean, yeah, Deluxe Paint still like, I don't know, it, it holds up surprise. Like I, I don't use it for hardly anything nowadays art wise there's very there's basically nothing that it can't do that another more modern program can't can't um but it but it hold, i would say that it holds up surprisingly well um anyway yeah deluxe paint uh yeah that wasn't bad um all right next one the courtyard by carlos lastra from 2017 other files by author from home to hell the demos incident rumble in the office a medium-sized level that plays around a guarded courtyard all right so this is much more recent uh, yeah creative commons licensed i don't think i've heard of carlos lastra but um but yeah let's uh let's give it a shot the courtyard from 2017. <laughs> Is that the courtyard? Ooh. Can I, I want that shotgun. Can I get it? Ooh, look at this multi-sector moving up and down fanciness. immediately just a much higher standard of quality than the previous uh, levels. Oh, look at this. Yeah, I'm definitely a fan of this high concept of like, you're in a single space, but it changes over time, you know? Um, and not necessarily just in like progressive cascades of monster closets and stuff. Um, it's good. I enjoy it. Oh yeah, look at this. Okay, so we're in a building and we're trying to get outside. And there are jerks all around us. Okay, and then this lets us out. Very nice structure. Here. Oh my goodness, this just keeps going. Alright, we got, we got fireballs from multiple parts of this space coming in. Cool, nice. Oh man, yeah, this is great. Wait a minute, have we played this before? Something about this layout seems really familiar. Maybe not. There's the 
red key. How do I... This is strictly for suckers running around in the slime like this, but... Sometimes you gotta, you gotta scout. Oh, look at this, this popped open. Oh, where'd you come from? All right, can't get this open. Is at the far end of the space. Okay, that's just a way back up there. Hmm. Thinking I should go back outside. Definitely did not fully explore. Base out here. Also, I can probably refill on goodies. Okay, back into here. Yeah, the way this whole area just unfolds is, is quite nice. Yeah, just that that's the nice thing. That's why like it's you know, like a good a good tunnely level, you know, it's I think for me at least is just always harder to make interesting. You know, in terms of flow than like something where you have this indoor outdoor interplay. I just value that so highly in level design. So yeah, we just got this little techie slime sub basement. and now I can get the blue key. That probably lowered something else. Some rockets. Ooh, how do I get out here? Yeah, how do I get that? Yeah, it's just kind of continually unfolding. Into it. Oh, right, and this is where we started. Ooh, Lordy. This isn't too bad. All right. He's in close for the picture, guys. And by the picture, I mean the splash damage. Uh, was this was this anything? Okay, no, this is just a little building. Yeah, this is cool. 
I'm glad we got to we got to play a more a more random uh, sorry a more modern uh, Doom level. It's always a treat to see like nice modern sensibilities, cool stuff to look at, non frustrating progression. Buddy's showing up for this. Big ol' rumble. Oh my. Okay. I'll blast my way out of there. Okay. Feels like the stakes are, are escalating. Look at you. Alright. In the multi baron fight stage of this of this level. Ow. Just whacked me. The green plasma right in the forehead there. Okay, so what did I need the green key for? Ooh, I want that. Let's see, how do I get up there? Wait, did I say green key? What the hell am I, what the hell am I saying? No. Oh. Ho. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> okay, so was that that yellow key felt like kind of a secret thing? Is there Okay, yeah, there's a yellow key building. Hmm. How do I open that thing up? Maybe I have to go back in here? No. Yeah, I think I'm going the right way. Uh -oh. I hear a cyber demon. Yep. Yeah. Especially great prospect, but yeah, this is kind of garbage. All right, well.
possible I've done this just the completely the completely foolish way, but you know. Whatever. Oh look at that. Yeah, how do I get in there? Oh, it looks like it's coming from that direction. I mean this is a really like modern, you know sort of clearly telegraph sort of thing you look in and you're like oh look at this it's the secret thing i want that and then you're like oh but look it must connect to this and then this doesn't open so probably i need to do something that will open that up but i got nothing Oh no. <laughs> My, did I use up all the did I use up all the health? Okay, so that's the actual exit there. And yeah, I think that's the level. But yeah, what does that unlock? I must know. Is there any health left here? Oh, I'll bet this opens that up. Okay, there we go. I just needed enough just need enough health to like survive taking a step across this junk no okay that did not open that up all right well that opens that up hmm did that maybe oh no no, no. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I am. I am curious about the secret. I want to know the secret. Let's see. There's this little building right here. Yeah. Already been there. That's still not open. Yeah. There's like a few more enemies left. Pull out the secret finder. Where is the secret? Okay, so there's like this tiny little chamber here. Yeah, right here. Is there a way I can get up to the other side of it? Did I maybe blow my chance to access this by not doing it when the level was in an earlier state? And then there's this. How do I get there? Yeah, this is... I feel like this level had some fairly easy secrets to find, and then some ones that were just like, you know, like, pay close attention. Although that's not considered a secret. I guess, yeah, this one down here is still... Okay, so like... Yeah, I can't get into there... Hmm. Hmm. That's a stumper. All right, yeah, and that's obviously a a secret in there. But yeah, what do we do? Do we do I have to do I have to punch it open?
Oh, oh, okay, so. Did anything come open here? Yeah, just like how, yeah, how do we get that open? How do? Yeah, and I can tell it's just like a little thing that opens right there. Man. I wonder if some of those spaces are only accessible before the room reconfigures itself early on. Yeah, that is a, that's... That's quite likely, although this is off from that main. It's really just like this square-shaped thing at the very beginning that reconfigures itself a lot. I, <clears throat> I don't know, yeah. I mean, all of that just to have missable secrets is definitely kind of a bummer. <clears throat> oh, look at that, look at that. Yeah, okay, I think I know, I think I know what I did here. Okay, so... Right, so like you do this and then this. And then it's these screens specifically? Yeah, I think that might be it. Which, you know, if you're not using mouse look, you could only, like, I guess I could just reach up and do that. But if you're not using mouse look, then yeah. Okay, well, cool. Yeah. And yeah, like this is this also does another thing. Like that was the auto map there, and I'm I definitely approve of like dangling the auto map in front of a player, making them work for it, and then that makes it easier but not trivial to find the remaining secrets in the level. Oh, look at that. There's a switch in the darkness there. Oh, Baron. Okay. Alright, where's this teleporter going to take us? It takes us up to here, which is why this thing was not marked as a secret. Very cool. Okay. Um, yeah, nice. And it kind of looks like... So there's like a thing behind this. I'm wondering if that's just like an ambush, like a teleport, a teleport, a monster only teleport chamber. Okay, so like, oh yeah, look at that. There's a little, a little halfway up the elevator shaft kind of, uh, kind of thing. Hello, Kako. A little cavey type room in here. Is there anything cool going on in here, though? I mean, you know, I got some goodies, I guess. And yeah, that was another secret. So. Yeah, and then. Oh, look at that. Can I just. Did I do something that raised up this lift somewhere? Maybe I did. Okay, and that's another secret. And heck, at this point, we might as well suck all the juice out of this thing. So we've got one secret, one item, and two mon and one monster left. So where would that be? Do you, do you think? Oh yeah, there's still that secret back in the main room. Well, yeah, now I'm very curious as to how to as to how to get there. Let's see. We go to the other side of this building. Okay, yeah, and it's accessible from the inside of this space. We come in here. 
this one might if like if this raised up from the floor and I can no longer get into here, it's possible that this is a missable secret. I don't know for sure, but Oh, look at that. Nice. Aha. Okay. There we go. Yeah. All right. So that's the that's the seventh secret. Nice. I mean, even just like this little, you know, like the loop of figuring that out is cool. Very nice. All right, so there's one item left. Where would that be? Where would the item be? And yeah, go ahead and show me the monster as well. Oh, right, and there was this whole room. And yeah, what do I do to... Oh, okay, I'll just shoot it. Oh, well, this BFG certainly would have made the last of... Uh, would have made finishing off that... Uh, that bozo a lot easier. And what is with the Hell Knight outside of the level bounds here? Did you just not hit your little teleport ambush marker? You having troubles, buddy? Huh, yeah. Yeah, okay, well that's not like a real... You know, that's not an actual... Real, um... <clears throat> combat, you know, requirement. Okay, well, yeah, this was a cool map. I, yeah, this was definitely a cool map. Um, yeah, just interesting shapes. This indoor-outdoor thing going on here was great, and then this as like a sort of auxiliary area that I thought it, this was going to be like the end of the level with like the peak of the fighting, but no, it, we returned to here, there was more tougher, you know, there was escalating stakes. Um, yeah, just a nicely done, nicely done map. Good job. Cool. Okay, well, that is going to be about it for the night. That was The Courtyard by Carlos Lastra from August of 2017. And uh, yeah, darn good job. Yeah, that was enjoyable. Um, cool. Okay, well, yeah, thank you so much for watching, as always. Um, yeah, have a good week, and, uh, yeah, I hope your year is off to a decent start. Um, yeah, have a good one. Stay, stay safe, stay warm, uh, and yeah, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.